Test one, test one. Test one, mic one. Test two, test two, mic two, mic two.
opportunity of dating and I'm sure you would hear I'd like to live in Arizona. She said yes. So I went and got a job in Arizona and I moved down there. Yeah, I don't know, I think you get it. <laughs> Good Thursday afternoon to you. It is time once again for another edition of Chamber Talk on Regional Radio KGEL. I'm Patty Burns. We are broadcasting live from the offices of the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce. Of course, Ashley Mahan, the Executive Director of the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce, is here with me. And Chamber Talk is brought to you by the Chamber of Commerce. Local Makes Sense and Regional Radio KJL. We've got some great guests to talk to today. We're going to be talking to uh, Sherry and Kathy from Denari Bridal and Boutique. Shelly's here from Phoenix Home Care. And also Kathy Gillette with the Lebanon Art Guild is here. And uh, so... Did you miss me last week, Ashley? Patty, I did miss you. Welcome back. Thank you. Glad you're here. <laughs> you know, it, I I just have to, you know, garner those compliments every once in a while. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm a glutton. What can I say? Well, tonight is open mic night at Jude's Coffee House. It is. Um, you know, I've never been to one of those, but I might have to stop by sometime because it sounds like it's a lot of fun. There's um, music, poetry, comedy. It, I mean, what more could you ask for? Sounds like a good time. That's at six o'clock, though, at Jude's um, for anyone interested in visiting. Mm -hmm. And um, let me see. Attendance to watch open mic night is five dollars per person. And of course, they make some great coffee uh, there at uh, Jude's Coffee Company and more, mm -hmm. of course. It's always a great time. Uh, coming up on Friday, Phoenix Home Care and uh, is it Phoenix Home Care? And hospice. and hospice, okay. Uh, they're going to be celebrating their anniversary. Dry, they're having a drive through lunch. It's customer appreciation. And uh, Shelly Perrin is here with us today to talk to us more about uh, what is going to be going on now. You've cooked, a, getting ready to cook a lot of hamburgers, right? Yes, we just patted up 500 hamburgers to cook tomorrow and serve to the community. And so how's it all going to work, Shelly? So um, we have little bags and we have hamburgers. I made baked beans and we have chips and you'll get water and ice cream too. And you'll come in the back and we'll hand you a bag with all the goodies and you'll go out the front. Okay. Yes, we'll bring everything to your car. You don't have to get out. So enter on Washington, Washington. and then exit onto Jefferson. And I like the little goodie bags that you guys always put together. Yeah, we put little um, little trinkets with our name on it. Some have little footballs, night lights. Um, we've got pins and cups and nail files. We just randomly stuck stuff in the bags. So, and there's information in there. AT and T actually is. Um, asked if they could help out too this year so it's going to be a lot of fun we have we have a big turnout always so oh, yeah and now what times are you it gonna be starts doing at 11 30 we'll start passing out the first bags at 11 30 and we'll go till everything's gone right. so like i said we have 500 hamburgers to pass out for tomorrow all right that is a lot of hamburgers and they're good i i did the little drive through last year and picked up lunch and I found all different kinds of little goodies, like I said, in the, in my little gift bag. And I was like, well, this is nice. <laughs> and it's all about, you know, just showing appreciation for your customers and letting people know, know more about Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. Right? Yeah, we've been here almost six years, and this is kind of a give give back to the community because they've you know really accepted us and um, gone that extra mile to welcome us into the community and so we just want to give back and say thank you for allowing us to take care of your loved ones you know in any time that they need it so. now what are some of the services the the least known about services that phoenix offers 
Probably some of the least known services that we do would be our um, HCY, our Healthy Children and Youth Program, where um, some of our little kids that they don't really need a nurse, but maybe they have some disability or something that could be um, like, um, oh gosh, I can't even think right now. <laughs> but anyways, they, they have some special needs and they can get a caregiver actually to come into the home and help the parents out like after school or during the day. Um, in, our, in our private duty care, um, we do VA. We also have, you know, private, privately paid services also. So those are a couple of the areas that aren't real well known. But we do do those. Yeah, things. see, I didn't know that you had a mm -hmm. program where, that you could offer services to little ones. Yeah, that we go. Cool. We do everything from birth mm -hmm. to death and dying and everything in between. Right. So A lot of great yeah. services. Yes. And much of it is covered by not just private insurance. Not but just private insurance. We have Medicaid. Um, we do a lot of Medicaid with the kiddos and some of our seniors and um, adults. Um, they do have VA benefits that will pay for services for an aide to come out and help with personal care, shopping, cleaning, that kind of stuff. Um, we have the CDS program where if you know somebody that you want to take care of you, um, we can ask the state to put you on that program and you can find your friend or somebody or your family member to come help take care of you and be paid for it. Oh, that is great because you know sometimes it's like with the um, with the children you know sometimes parents just need a break yeah yeah and that that's what this HCY program is about is you know helping those parents you know they might have an autistic child or um, somebody that just has you know mental things like that that need that special attention and they can get a caregiver that comes in gets them off the school bus during the school year and sits with them for a couple of hours or in the summertime have a, a caregiver there to help with you know just helping them out especially if they have a lot of other kids that caregiver is just focused on that child and that so. is yeah, so important, and I'm so glad that you were able to let us know that that is yes. a service that you guys have available through Phoenix. Well, tomorrow's the big day, Community Appreciation Day or Customer Appreciation Day at Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. They're located right on Jefferson Avenue. They're having a drive through lunch, 11.30 to until they run out of food. Um, they've cooked 500 burgers, so you better go fast, better get there fast, and uh, yeah, enjoy everything that they have to offer and ask questions about what they do at Phoenix. Thank you very much, Shelly. Yeah, thanks. We look forward to seeing you. All right. The Shelly Perrin with Phoenix Home Care and Hospice right here in Lebanon. Well, coming up on Saturday is going to be a fun event out at Whirlwind Ranch. The Lebanon Art Guild is going to be hosting the brand new, nope, the return of Art at the Farm. And, um, um, Kathy Gillette is here with us. How are you doing, Kathy? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing well. Now, Kathy, first and foremost, are you an artist? What is your art form? Um, yes, I'm an artist, and I do several different kinds of art. But my specialty right now is I make handmade felt art pieces. Handmade felt art. Pieces. Yeah, it's okay. It's, you're gonna have to explain that. I dumb that down for okay. me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I I buy wool. Okay. And I use the wool. I wet felt with water and friction to turn that felt or wool into felt. And uh, then when I I use lots of different colors, lots of different uh, embellishments, machine stitching, hand stitching, and then then I mount them and they're art pieces. Okay. And uh, right now I have probably a, a, more than a dozen on display at our art guild, along with lots and lots of art of all our other artists. Oh, that is great. And of course, the Art Guild Gallery is located in downtown Lebanon. But this big event that is coming up on Saturday from 10 to 5 is going to be at Whirlwind Ranch, which is on Snowberry Drive, uh, right off of Highway 32. Uh, that would be East 32. Um, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Are there going to be demonstrations from what I understand? Yes, um, there's going to be some demonstrations. I can read you off a few of the vendors if you would like to know. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to have uh, approximately 19 artists with vendors. 
We'll have a singer-songwriter in the morning, and we're hopefully going to have live music in the afternoon also. We will also have an art auction at 1 o'clock where you can bid on a lot of pieces that are specifically in the auction. We have uh, artists like Judy Patterson McKinley, who does wood carving and baskets. We have uh, Deborah Kuffner that does acrylic paintings. Ellie Smith, uh, who does cards, journals, pictures that she makes with collage and printmaking. Deanna Stuckey, who does oil, watercolor, and acrylic paintings, plus painted wooden items. We have uh, other artists like Mary Cox, who does stained glass. We have Al Bick, who is going to have vintage handmade quilts there for sale. We've got Patty Kilson, who does barn quilts. And we've got Mary Ganey, who does pottery and calligraphy. And Joy Thompson, who does paintings. Wow, so a lot of talent will be on display at the uh, art at the farm event. Now, I understand that there's going to be some other stuff going on. Um, now, demonstrations. I remember going to an art um, event here in Lebanon. It's been many, 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 many years ago that the Art Guild did. And um, there was a potter there, and she actually let me operate her pottery wheel. And that was, like, so cool because I'd never done that before. I mean, it ended up a big old mess by the time I was done because, well, I, but it was still, it was fun. And I was like, I remember that. I don't know exactly which kind of live events. I know we've got a face painter that's going to come. And I know that we have our um, woman who does the paints barn quilts. She's going to be working on that and she's going to have some hands-on type of thing with that, I know for sure. Oh, that is great. That's great. Because, you know, you're never too old or too young to learn something new. So admission is free. Art at the Farm is taking place on Saturday, this Saturday, June 24th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And, of course, um, now for those of you who do not know, uh, Whirlwind Ranch, again, is located. And here's the numbers. So you can put it in Google Maps if you live outside the area and not, not quite sure how to find Snowberry Drive, okay? It is 24649, 24649, Snowberry Lebanon, Missouri, just put that in your um, Google Maps or whatever mapping system or your GPS that you use, and it'll take you right to it. Um, this is a great event, and I'm so glad that you guys have brought it back again this year. Yeah, we're, we're pretty excited to um, hope that the public will, you know, really um, support us and come out, and uh, it's, it's going to be a beautiful day, and you know, it, uh, we really want to promote art in this area, not just in Le Lebanon, but in the Cleek County. And we have so many talented artists and we, you know, have classes at the Art Guild for adults. We have children's classes at the Art Guild. And there's a lot more, I think, going on there than most people realize. And we want to get out there in front of the public. Absolutely. Again, Art at the Farm is taking place this Saturday, 10 to 5, 24649 Snowberry. Admission is free. And there's going to be a lot of stuff going on that day. Thank you so much, Kathy, for coming and talking to us You're about welcome. Art at the Farm. Oh, boy, June is bridal month. Is June still bridal month? Patty, it is, but also okay. October's a big one, too. But June is still a big bridal month. Yes. All right. Well, um, we have got Sherry Lindsay, Kathy Hurt, and Mr. Lindsay is here, and he just keeps saying he's not talking on the radio, and we might have to just see about that. <laughs> so, Mr. Lindsay, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> Mickey Mouse, money, 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 the python, uh, <laughs> How are you? I'm good, Patty. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to do that because, well, I don't like being told no. What can I say? Yeah. Sherry Lindsay um, is with Denari Bridal and Boutique, um, co-owner of uh, Denari Bridal and Boutique. Now, you guys have been there for, is it two years now? 
Well, we became Denari in October of 2022. So oh, a little nine as nine a year. Oh, yeah, wow. As a year as Denari, yes. Okay. So, yeah, I, I don't have any sense of di- direction either. So. <laughs> <laughs> So June is bridal month and, um, you know, there's a lot of changes happening in the bridal industry. A lot of people think, you know, go to the big box stores, you're going to get a better price, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. But, you know, when it comes down to it, it's the personalized service that you get at boutiques like Denari. Yes, I agree with you, Patty. We're not just a person who's there just to sell an item. Our uh, consultants are actually trained in how to fit a wedding dress to an individual based on their body shape. Um, So we help them with that. We help them choose what accessories go with it as well. And, you know, that is so important because, you know, what I think will be awesome on me really you always need a second opinion from an expert when it comes to the biggest one of the biggest days of your life right right patty um and we never push a certain style on anybody um they may love a mermaid or they may come in wanting a mermaid and they don't like it on themselves so we we do see that a lot so um We don't really do a whole lot of markup. When you talked about going to a big box store, we don't do a huge markup. We want to keep our prices very reasonable there on our dresses so that we can see brides be happy in a beautiful dress as well. Because I know they're all really concerned right now with the big stores going out of business. There's been several going out of business. And some of them are probably concerned if they ordered their dress that they are not going to get that dress at this point. Oh, is that going to be a problem at it, Denari? It, it will not no. be a problem at Denari. It will not. No. We carry several hundred dresses in stock. If, they, if they're getting married like at the, in a week, we can get them in a dress and get it fitted to them in a week. Pretty a close. week? Yes. Really? Yes. But we do have a private label that we order from as well, and that can go from size zero up to size 40. So we can fit almost anybody in a beautiful dress. But that takes a little while to get those in. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and a lot of um, women who are getting married, they're thinking, well, shoot, I, you know, I got grandma's dress, you know, that she wore way back when. And I want to use that dress. I want to wear that dress to my wedding as her tradition. Do you guys do alterations and kind of maybe it's like a super old style that maybe needs just a little bit of modernization? We do. We do those alterations on anything they purchase from us and anything that they bring in and not just formal wear. We will alter and do alterations on anything from jeans to uh, bathing suits we've had come in. So, yeah. Bathing our, suits? Yes. Yeah, so really? Have, we can have... you make my bathing suit bigger or my body smaller? <laughs> <laughs> she can give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do some work on that one. I can hear it now. You really want me to do what? But, you know, um, right now, um, with so many of those discount and even larger bridal shops going out of business, uh, you know, think about your local uh, Denari Bridal and Boutique. And it's not just about wedding gowns. It's also about the guys. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Patty, we have some beautiful suits in our store that they can walk in that day. Say, like, maybe, unfortunately, sometimes we see a lot of people that have a funeral they need to go to, and they just don't have that black pant or black jacket or suit that they need. We carry several in store to make that available to them. We also still have... um, the suits that we come that we rent in, like Micro Cores and name brand suits and tuxes that we rent in as well from a one of the um, United States top um, suit suppliers. So you do do the rentals then, yeah. but how do you rent a suit that and know how if it's going to fit? Because we are trained, and we know, because we take over ten different measurements to make sure that suit's going to fit well. That's Kathy Hurt talking. So, um, Also, that... we had a guy come in, and he had to have a suit for an interview in an hour. Oh, wow. And we were able to get him suited up, pressed, shoes, and he was out the door and in time for his interview. That is amazing that you could do that. No, that's Denari Bridal and Boutique, honey. <laughs> That is great. And um, so now if a person, ju- as as you said, um, if they have a funeral that they need to go to, 
or a job interview that they need to go to that they maybe you know, they only need it for one time. It's not just for people who need for grooms and groomsmen, mm -hmm. the the rental, the suit rental. Right, they can they can rent um, an item. They can rent a whole suit, or they can do a, a pant or a jacket. Or we have some people that just come in and need to rent a pair of shoes, you know, because it's hard mm -hmm. to find men's shoes. And we do carry the men's dress shoes. We have separates of men's clothes, the vest, the jacket, the pants, you know, the shirts, ties. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the reason why I ask you that is because I uh, <laughs> had a had an event that we had to go to, and my son needed a suit. He put his suit on, and he's like, hey, "Mom, this don't fit." <laughs> <laughs> and it was like two hours before. You know, I wasn't thinking that he'd grown up. He wasn't twelve anymore. Oh, you know? <laughs> <come> on, <Patty. laughs> so it's great to know that uh, those things are available at Denari Bridal and Boutique. Now you do have the second annual Patriotic Storefront Contest yes, going on. Yes, we do. On. We do. We actually have an army um, dress uniform on display and that is set up as our groom and then we painted or I painted the bottom of a wedding gown blue and then we have stars going around that and so then we have some other stuff mixed in too. I'm not going to tell you everything because they need to come in and see it or at least go on um, the paper's website or Facebook page and vote for those people that they want to win those. Oh that is awesome. Now if you said you painted a dress. Mm -hmm. So if a person wants a dress painted with those Ooh. designs, can <laughs> you would, do that? We would probably consider it. Yeah, sure. it would just depend. Okay. <laughs> Kathy <laughs> says, sure. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of work, but it's kind of fun, yeah. and they do turn out pretty cool. Well, that is great. Uh, Denari Bridal and Boutique, where are you located? We are at 2011 South Jefferson Avenue. We're just a couple of blocks past Walmart, on south of Walmart. We are in between Terra Vet and... Um, Foiled Salon. I couldn't think of the name for a second. So we're the building in the middle that is having a lot of construction going on right now inside and outside. So. Great, great. Thank you very much, uh, Sherry. I appreciate you coming in and talking to us. And Mr. Lindsay, thank you. I appreciate you uh, at least saying hello to everybody. And Kathy, thank you so much as well. Uh, again, that is uh, Denari Bridal and Boutique located right on Jefferson Avenue. So, Mom Prom is coming up on Saturday as well, Ashley. Yes, it's going to be a busy weekend, it sounds like. But after you've been at Art on the Farm for the day, then you can go out to Mom Prom that evening. It's at Wall Street Cattle Company, and it's 80s themed. 80s themed, okay. Um, and uh, you can find a link um, for on Eventbrite, is that correct? Yes, Should they it? have the event on yeah. Facebook, and okay. it, through that, there's a link that you can click to, to order tickets for that. Okay, mm -hmm. and again, that's coming up 6 to 10, uh, June 24th. That's this Saturday. On Sunday, if you like the water and like a good cause, you can do both with Paddle Away Poverty. Uh, coming up on one at 1 p.m. Sunday at Riverfront Campground. Yes, and actually Robin Durbin was with us last week on Chamber Talk and, and spoke about that. Um, it's going to be a family-friendly event, but it sounds like it's going to be a really good time. And I just love that, you know, they're mixing being out on the water with, you know, the Elevate and, and the charity. So I think it's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, and it is a, a fundraiser for Elevate Lebanon. They have so many great programs through Elevate Lebanon. Um, and again, it's at Riverfront Campground, 1 p.m. And I believe it's $50 per person. That does include your rental on your uh, canoe. Um, I'm not sure if there's a different cost if you get a raft, but I will tell you that um, you want to get in contact with them as soon as possible in order to make sure that there is a, a, a canoe or kayak or raft or whatever available for you. Uh, it's at Riverfront Campground, and you can call uh, Elevate Lebanon to get more information. Um, there's going to be an ice cream social at Home and How Funeral Home. They're celebrating 90 years. Yeah, can you believe that? I absolutely love hearing Kenny Howe talk about this event and the history of Home and How Funeral Home. It's just wonderful to hear the history, and, and he's so knowledgeable as well. He just knows every piece of it, and it's I think it's great. It'll be wonderful to get the community out there and enjoy a little bit of ice cream and socialize and, and see the historic building. Oh, absolutely. 
family and a, a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of history there. And you're right, Kenny can talk about a lot of different things. There's a lot of history over those 90 years. It is June 29th from 530 to 7 at Holman Howe Funeral Home. And that is located on Adams Avenue right here in Lebanon. Uh, real quick. We got about a minute left. Nominations are still being accepted for the um, Lifetime Achievement Award for the Wall of Honor in Lebanon. Yep, that um, they're due by tomorrow, so that's our deadline. But we are looking for exceptional individuals who've made a big impact on our community. So if you know somebody, send those nominations into the chamber. Absolutely. You can email them, chamber at lebanonmissouri.com. Uh, you can give them a call at 417-588-3256 to get more information, or you can just stop by here at the chamber office at 186 North Adams Avenue in Lebanon. Ashley, thank you so much. It's of been course. a pleasure once again. Thank you very much, uh, Sherry, Mr. Lindsay, Kathy Hurt, Shelly Perrin for being here from Phoenix, Kathy Gillette here from Lebanon Art Guild for uh, talking talking to us today about what's going on in Lebanon. It's Chamber Talk and it's brought to you by the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce and Local Makes Sense and by Regional Radio KGL. Have a great day.